Getting it wrong going uphill is bad enough, but make a mistake when descending and it could have far more serious circumstances. So here's what to avoid when the road goes down. Got first time. For the vast majority of the time that you're plummeting downhill, you should be looking upwards and forwards at the road ahead. Not down directly at the wheel in front of you or the patch of road in front of your front wheel. Because if you do this, you won't see what's coming up ahead, giving you little or no time to take invasive action. Looking down is the reason why many people crash on descents as hazards or sharp bends appear only at the last moment, often forcing the rider to instinctively grab the brakes too hard and lose control, or worse. Effective, enjoyable and safe descending is a combination of many different skills, one of which is the ability to brake correctly. Now, one of the most common mistakes on descents is for riders to brake too harshly and too late, often midway through a corner, resulting quite often in the back wheel locking up and a quite catastrophic loss of control, which quite often is as a direct result of our previous mistake, and that isn't looking up. So pull on both brakes smoothly, applying more pressure to your front brake as this is your most effective, as it's the one that slows you down the fastest. Whilst doing this, push your weight backwards over the bike to balance the feeling of being thrown forwards. Try never to grab your brakes in a panic. Hurtling downhill at 80 kilometers an hour plus requires confidence, skill, concentration, and above all, a stable bike. Taking your hands off the bars, especially at very high speeds, leaves you extremely vulnerable, so you won't be in a position to brake and take evasive action. Now this is because things happen much faster at higher speed, yet you react in exactly the same time you do at slower speeds. So it's so important and vital in fact that you give yourself that time to react. And having one hand off the handlebars means you won't be able to brake, let alone steer your bike which, quite frankly, is a recipe for disaster. Don't ride too close to other riders on descents, especially particularly technical or fast ones. So drop off two or three lengths from the rider in front, and that will give you enough space and time to maneuver safely and non-erratically, should you wish to do so. It'll also make sure you've got a nice, clear, unobscured view of the road up ahead. Drop even further back from riders in front in wet conditions to a distance of at least four or even five or six bike lengths. Sitting directly on someone's back wheel on a descent is just asking for trouble, so don't do it. Most of our riding is of course done on open roads, roads that we share with other traffic, but it's very easy to get carried away in the euphoria of traveling downhill at high speeds and actually forget that we do share the roads. So for that reason, never ever cut blind corners. The consequences simply don't bear thinking about. So stick to your side of the road when going into a blind bend. Don't be tempted to take the racing line. Following those bits of advice should ensure that your descending is far more enjoyable, but above all, a lot safer. Now, if you haven't already subscribed to the Global Cycling Network, it's absolutely free. And to do so, click on the globe and that way you won't miss another video. Now, for some more descending videos, how about clicking just up here for descending made easy or just down here for how to descend even faster.